hey how are you all doing good beautiful morning how are you all doing it is another episode of liberation and protection welcome back again to this channel if you're meeting me for the first time and merit don't forget to hit the red subscribe button like and share this video and any other video that you found interesting let others know how to do a lot of spiritual works because everything is not dependent on your pastor you don't have to depend on your pastor to do so many things you can do all these things by yourself it's just that nobody have told you or taught you how to do it which i am here to do for free so please don't forget to hit your red subscribe button also thumbs up this video and of course let's hit the video so in today's video i'll be teaching you how to pray for protection yes now see this prayer i'm telling you is something that you need to do two or three times a week yes you need to pray for protection two or three times a week because guys a lot of things are happening if you go outside you will know that so many things are happening people are dying unnecessarily people are dying carelessly so many things are killing people and they have refused to notice what is happening somebody can set an accident for you yes somebody that doesn't like you that doesn't want you to remain alive might set an accident for you and you will fall a victim you will go out a little scratch from a bike you will you will be sick for so many months and then you will die eventually so by praying for protection make it a point of contact you pray for protection you will be protected yes you the bible tells us that with our spoken words a lot of things will be done now this channel is not all about diabolic i don't do diabolic things on this channel i tell you what you will do with your bible or with so many things that the lord gave to us remember that everything created by god is blessed just that you don't know or we don't know how to use it we don't know how to put it into practice that is why some people have been lacking behind i am here to teach you okay so i'll be teaching you how to pray for protection using your bible pray this prayer three times a week and you will see god walking in your life now the bible quotation that we'll, we are going to be using to pray is psalms 54. now if you have your bible open with me to the book of psalms 51. I always use my good news Bible for these things because it gives me the interpretation that I need. So let us open Psalm 54. Good. Psalm 54. The caption, the headings there says, A prayer for protection from enemies. Have you seen a prayer for protection from enemies now i'm going to be reading this my bible is somehow i don't know guys i don't know if you can see it this my bible is somehow but but i'll read it loudly and i hope you read with me too now it says save me by your power oh god set me free by the night okay save me by your power oh god set me free by your might hear my prayer oh god Listen to my words. Proud men are coming to attack me. Cruel men are trying to kill me. Men who do not care about God. But God is my helper. The Lord is my defender. May God use their own evil to punish my enemies. He will destroy them because he is faithful. I will gladly offer you a sacrifice, O Lord. I will give you thanks because you are good. You have rescued me from all my troubles and I have seen my enemies defeated. Now, remember that every prayer that is made without faith doesn't work. If you go to the hospital and a doctor is treating you and you don't have faith in that doctor, that sickness is going nowhere. But if you pray with faith, your prayers are answered. So anytime you want to pray with Psalm 54, first of all, meditate. Meditate. After reading this version of the after reading this verse of the Bible, this chapter and verses of the Bible, meditate for some seconds. After meditation, say your prayers, pour out your heart, pour out your mind to God, and watch miracles happen. Now remember in 
One verse of this Bible says, in verse 6, it says, I will gladly offer you a sacrifice, O God. I will give you thanks because you are good. At the end of, if you are a Sabbatarian, if you attend Sunday services, at the end of the prayer, at the end of every week, make sure you give God something tangible. Go to your church, give, a, give an offering. If you, if you used to give 50 naira in the church, that Sunday, give 100 naira. That is what I'm saying. The Lord knows how you, the Lord knows the, the Lord knows what you have. He knows what is in your mind. If you have bigger, you will give. If you have enough, still give enough. Give God something tangible for protecting you. And you will see one that's working in your life. When it's happening in the front, you'll be at the back. When it's happening at the back, you'll be in the front. The Lord will always protect you. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again in another video. Bye.